It's really bad. You need air conditioning people. There's very few 70 degree days in now on earth. We have tons of 70 degree days here in Florida. And here I had smoking cigarettes when I was 13 years old. By the time I got here to Florida, I was too old to play golf. I couldn't even go in the driving range and, and strike a ball for practice. It took me a minute to catch my breath before I could make another shot. You think golf is easy? You hear to think it's for fat old people and wear different ugly looking colored shirts and trousers and shorts? You think that, people? You're crazy! Golf is very hard to learn. It's a very difficult sport. When you watch this golf every Sunday on the TV set, you're looking at maybe 10 players they're showing are doing their best for you. They're not showing you there are 70 that are below them. They don't want the people who are more. They want to say the 10 best. They'll show you the 10 best. So you're watching uh, out of 200, 300 professionals that made the golf course on the weekend and the little enough scores, maybe about 70 or 80 people after that, playing Saturday and Sunday. Uh, you're watching the best of the best of the golfers. And you're watching the 10 best of the best golfers in the world having a good day when their scores are low. That's, That's why I say it's so simple. simple. You're, You're watching, watching the best of the best. best. <laughs> it's a hard case of those people. Back, Back in Illinois, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I used to go up in Wisconsin because the golf course is a bit cheaper. cheaper. Plus, they're prettier, prettier too. Wisconsin is a pretty state. state. But I don't know why I live there because, because the winters are very cold. They're colder than Chicago. Anyway, uh, I used to go up to Wisconsin to play golf. It's just, uh, we just lived eight miles in the water. It was just another five or ten miles further down the road. And the rates are much cheaper. Golfers are around my house, they're expensive. But one, we were close to the house over in Waukegan, got very expensive. They want $40 for that hill. And that's a money for the car, too. For a senior citizen. <laughs> I can get the same thing for ten dollars up in Wisconsin, in Bristol Oaks. That's where my daughter, my wife and I had a reception too. After we got there. Anyway, um, one uh, May morning, you gotta wait to May to play golf over there, because the rest of the year is pretty cold. Uh, I went to my uh, Bristol Old Country Club where my Hal and I had a great reception, by the way. And uh, I played a talk. I used to play my own nine holes, but too old to play 18 anymore. And I got up there and I shot a 41. That was the most exciting day I had in my whole life. I never shot a little score like 41. 36 is hard. It's still a five over power. But I was so happy. I said, boy, I finally learned how to play this stupid game. And guess what? I'm lucky if I shoot under 50 nowadays for nine holes. Power is 36 for nine, 72 most courses for 18. And now that you know the limit is your 10 or 20 under car. That's how good the car is out of the Anyway, I was never able to read that game and start smoking cigarettes when I was 13. Uh, I got so bad at the driving range. I had to take one shot. I had to take a whole minute to catch my breath. I haven't even played golf yet. I went to a minute play on the golf course. Even since I moved to Wisconsin, uh, Florida here back in uh, September 2015, you know, it's going on almost four years now. And because of the smoke, and uh, my lungs still haven't been good enough to go to the driver's 
course, it's too cold now, even in January for Florida to go play any golf. But as soon as February comes around, late February, it's going to be really nice out there. We're going to have lots of seven degree days. In Illinois, you're lucky if you get 10 days in the 70s. It's either too hot or too cold, which it is most of the time in Illinois, around Chicago and the southern Wisconsin. Um, yeah, that's the price you pay for smoking cigarettes, kids. Don't start and don't think you're going to get by with a nicotine supplement for your body, putting a patch on your arm, or a pill that's got some nicotine in it. You have to cut out nicotine too. That's the reason the cigarettes are so addictive. It's the nicotine. And you don't know from the cigarettes, which I admit does have some extra ingredients in it, that tobacco smoke, that you don't get into one of those nicotine uh, fake cigarettes that you smoke. But you still, you're still under the drug, nicotine. Nicotine is the one you gotta stop, people. If you wanna quit, you gotta to quit smoke cold turkey. No nicotine at all. And believe me, it's hard. I know, I did it two or three times. You better off to get the queen. Queen. The one that I saw that movie actor who always played the rough guy part in the movies. That one, uh, Quinn, I forget what they call it. Maybe, you go to the doctor, you have to go to the doctor and get a prescription for it. But it works. It'll help you lay off the smoke. And, uh, but the urge is still going to come back. You have to fight that urge. And do something else. Maybe grab a, something slack or something. Get fat. It's probably better for you if you do put a little weight in it. Then have your lungs in my condition that I have now. I can't even go, be happy going to the driving range for practice. It's that bad, people. Sometimes I'm using the carts at the grocery store where you ride around. They go about three or four miles an hour. But you don't run out of breath walking down the aisle. But they got these oxygen things you put in your nose and carry around like a, a shoulder a shoulder bag that goes around your back. But I think action. This thing over here, uh, right back behind me, if you can see it, is a, a 40 pound, 50 pound uh, tank. I can get it, it's heavy. It's, it's kind of wolves. You can wheel that thing around. You can't do that much at a drug so you can always put it in the car and uh, you get shorter of air driving. I don't. But some people get shorter of air while they're driving. You stick that thing right in your nose. You got oxygen in there. Often those famous cigarettes they used to be so famous that I like smoked back in the 50s. And I told you on TV. And how about all the movies? With all that action? And the guys have the good times and all that. They let up the smoke afterwards. Oh, the, the perfect end of the day. Until you smoke for many years and find out you're half dead. Lots of my friends died from lung cancer. I was lucky they never caught cancer. I don't have any friends anymore. Just a couple guys I know that I can sing like I do. And so my friend of the DJs. Most of the time, you know, maybe my last buddy I had, I had in mind, I visited my daughter uh, just last June, because that's the only time we visited them. June and September are very beautiful months in Chicago. That's where I go there at that time. And I want to see my old buddy. And this is 1962. He was living in uh, the trailer park, Park City, right next to Waukegan. Her sorrow, that area. He was living with his other niece up in Real Nice House, Wisconsin. They moved down to Zion and something happened over there. And they made him leave. And now he's in his tra trailer 
Order in Park City, another one of his other niece, the sister to the other, his other niece. And uh, she didn't hard to tell you a word to me. Oh, who the fuck are you? I don't care if you know my, uh, my, uh, what was the niece be to Joe, uh, my uncle. I don't care if you know my uncle is 1962. Big deal. Their family, the few family he has left over there, they asked me to leave after only two days there. I know they even go back to my daughter's house of down south near Chicago to have some place to stay. Well, I'm paying $60 for a bed over there. Boring bed. Motel. I think travel is too expensive. He charges too much for the hotels. A lot of people pay a hundred something dollars a day, a night to stay at the hotel. Crazy. That's a big waste of money. They must have a make a lot of money for those trips. Anyway, uh, we stopped over at my sister's house over there near Milwaukee. She lived in a place where we do people, and she gave me a house for free. I couldn't live there because she paid over ten thousand dollars a year in taxes. <laughs> the rich people have got to pay a lot of money. People do. The cities don't run for free. They charge the rich people a lot more of my taxes than you normally know, pay. My taxes in my house over here in Florida. Only around fifteen hundred. <laughs> sure, my sister had a nice house. Is it that nice? <laughs> That's a lot of money, dude. Now, people they can retire and pay their taxes like that. That's a lot of dough. I still got to learn about their sister too. They live in Lake Village and all. I heard all the sisters who lived down here, near Orlando. Imagine what her house was cost. The closer you get to Orlando people, the more money they want. It's ain't all good things, not very cheap either. There's a lot of people coming from all over the world to go to Miami, Orlando, and St. Augustine. Why do they go to Orlando? It's one of the plainest cities in the United States, people. It's beautiful there. It's just as nice as San Diego. Well, there are big rich people there. It's a beautiful city. My sister lives, uh, she lives about 30 miles from there. Of course, you know, Orlando is popular because Walt Disney World is there. People go all around the world to visit there. City's got a lot of money. And what do you think you're going to try to do if you want to build a house there? You have to pay a lot more money for a house there. Same thing you can get from a cheap city like Jacksonville here. But you can pay a big dollar because it's, a, it's in where a house is located with how much where it's worth. And it's, there's taxes going on that people. So besides paying a huge price for a house, you're going to pay a ton of money with taxes. And insurance too. Because they're going to insure, get to insure your house for a lot more money. There's no way to rebuild it for a cheap labor. They want a top labor price. That's all where your house is located, how much you pay. Yeah, I have one sister that lives about 30 miles north of Orlando. If you want to get any closer than that, you make a lot of money. And uh, I just want, I'm going to move an apartment that's uh, a little bit further south than I am now, but much more east. And I believe I found a, nothing else to do there. I found a good place to rent an apartment where it's centralized. It's in the middle of, in other words, to all the karaoke bars that I like around the city. And... Uh, it puts everything at a, a smaller distance 
not when you're close to one of your favorites, but and miles away from another one. It takes a lot of thinking, but you can do it on the internet and you can tell you and centralize all your different bars and draw a dot right in the middle of all that. And that's your centralized location. One thing and we will have to be careful of though, the apartment we got here, this super expensive apartment that my wife got so she could back to work. What work? She got fired. <laughs> and that's why she wants to sell the house and get a divorce to get that money out of there. Because she got fired. Don't forget about that, people. I know it's my fault for getting sick. She spent a lot of time with me. Even when I got home, she had to spend time with me watching me here. But I didn't ask to get sick. It's just natural when you get older, people. It happens. And uh, where's she going to work now? We, we moved down here, rented a house out to her son and his friends, so we can afford to live here. We still got to put that up to her own money. Plus that, I still got to pay the taxes and insurance for my house here when I live here. Nothing's free, like you guys think it is. Celebrities like me, we get everything free. BS, we don't. We have to pay just as much as you do, sometimes more. Well, um, I don't know what we would do. Maybe that's the reason she wants to get a divorce now. She lost her job. Now she's really short of money. And she said she's going to go off my channel because I'm so ridiculous. See, a person asking you people for a mere quarter a week, the ones. When I'm asking that, I assume you're over 20 years old. I keep forgetting I have a bunch of children as subscribers that don't make anything. They don't have no income. Their food and their clothing and their toys and their games are supplies by their parents. And I don't think their parents appreciate giving me a dollar a month. A quarter a week. I can't ask any cheaper people. That's the lowest patron charges. But if you want to sing all the song, the best ones that I got, like the one to three, four hundred thousand other views, you're gonna to have to pay maybe two dollars a month. So some song, three dollars. The most that you can never be charged for everything is five bucks a month. And that's if you want everything. And for a lot of people, five dollars a month is nothing. I pay one hundred twenty-five dollars a month just for the internet to upload it to you. I can upload my videos in four minutes flat, mostly under that time. Let's see you do that with your internet. If you want to become famous like me and think everything's for free, you're wrong. It's a hobby. That's why I do it for you. No, because I love to sit. But I have expensive people just like you and them. And I might have to hire a maid to come and keep my house clean once a month and clean the place up a little bit, using a mop in the room. Clean out the stove, uh, dust everything. When you get old, you know, if you have any old people like your parents or something, or your grandparents living with you, you know what I mean. You get good for nothing. You can't clean the house anymore. It's hard. I don't give my wife that much trouble right here, right now. Then I'm off uh, getting better every day I'm out of the hospital. Two once in a while she makes some soup for herself and the kids and I have that to eat. I don't have to uh, cook it. She can that's one thing I really appreciate that she does. Most of the other food that the Filipinos eat are not for me. I like Italian food. I was mostly Italian. My dad was Italian. 
and I almost got a tiny food when I grew up. My um, mom used to make a chicken and, and uh, dumpling. I love that. I still buy a, a soup at the store for that. Remember those old days. But, um, well, yeah, I almost be getting tired putting my hand on my cheek, looking forward. But um, that's what happens when you get older. Well, maybe I'll get my son and his Mexican wife. Oh, I said her nationality again. Anyway, she is Mexican. And to come up here to Jacksonville, the weather is just as good as what they got there. Plus, um, I think the fact is the, the bars are better here because they allow people to smoke in them. You know, in Texas, it's just like Illinois and New York State. There's no smoking in the, in the bars. It's outlaw. You can go to jail for something to smoke. And the trouble with Texas over there, the people really love their cigarettes over there. The Cowboy State, they love those cigarettes. So they get a bunch of liquor and go out to the patio. And they have the nice weather that we do here in Jacksonville. And they go outside. But when they go out there, there's nobody inside where the singing is. A lot of times I was down there singing, visiting my son, and there was no, well, maybe one person sitting in the seat over there. I was singing for one person. <laughs> That's a, a big laugh, people. All the other people were out there smoking their cigarettes over there on the patio and drinking their booze. What am I supposed to do, Dr. Patio? Hey, you smokers, get your ass in here and listen to me sing. You think I just come here to sing by myself? I can do that at home. <laughs> and then, uh, in Illinois, where I'm from, uh, most of the time, it's too fucking. Uh, it's, and I use a bad word, it's too hot there in the summertime, in, uh, I'm talking about July and August, parts of June too, parts of December, and the rest of the time it's too cold to smoke outside. Now, if you want to smoke there in Illinois, where there's no smoking in the bar at all, you're not out there but maybe, what does it take, about five minutes or quicker? Some people get a cigarette now in about five minutes. And you're back in and warm it up, we're cooling off. Because the weather's so bad in Illinois around Chicago. And uh, and most of the time, I had a big crowd listening to me in Illinois bars. Didn't have to worry about that. In Texas, you do. Some places are, they turn completely empty. Where is everybody in there? They're on the patio out there smoking cigarettes. Some of them they like two or three in a row. They're chain smokers. They spend a lot more time there in the patio than places of mine. They don't smoke inside. Those Texas bars. And they have a lot of people that really love my singing over there in the, the capital of Texas, Austin. Uh, where my kids used to live there. One time, uh, it was a black place. We went to a place, or a pancake place, and the waitress just said, oh, you should gotta go to this bar over here. There's a, a lot of excitement there. And they were black waitresses, who so what, in Texas. They told us to go to this bar here. So we listened to them. I said, let's go where the waitresses say it's good to go. And it turned out the, the black people there it was a black bar, and they, they just loved me. Me, and I'm white. They loved my singing. And even the owner of the place come over and sit next to me for a while. He was like a basketball player. He was about six foot ten, and these people at the time. He was the tallest black person I ever sat. New. And he came over here uh, trying to ride me. He really likes me, but he's trying to make me feel like I'm going to shoot you. You're an ass, you get out of hand. But he's acting a big shot. I figured this guy must be the owner of this joint. 
And you know, he comes back, he comes over a table, writes me down, makes fun of me, joking me, you know, that junk. And he walks away. At the end of the night, and I'm here in my um, highballs all night, because my kids are going to drive me home. I don't have to worry about driving the car and getting DUI. So uh, I'm getting uh, brandy and sevens, my favorite drink. It's a uh, brandy, it's a form of wine. Very delicious form of high class wine, like a whiskey. Um, and seven is, is for seven up. It's a simple drink to make. But they're expensive. There's a lot more in beer. Bill must have been, I was paying for my kids too. Of course, they didn't drink that much. They knew that I don't, I'm not extremely rich or anything like that. They only have one or two drinks. Uh, and I had to pay for them too. Anyway, I billed it like thirty dollars and something when we left. And I think, oh well, not a bad price to pay for having a real good time. And the black people just love my singing. I was even dancing one wife song with my uh, my son's uh, wife, and one of the black ladies cut in and she wanted to dance with me, which was nice. I thought one. Day, these black people really love my singing. I know I, I, I love a lot of black music. Maybe I'm good singing. Huh? My wife's stepping in. But uh, guess what? I never seen that charge on my credit card bill. The owner paid for every penny that was there. I got the whole night for free. Now that's an appreciation of you when you can sit there and order drinks all night. And you got by without paying a cent. People must really like you in Texas. Texas is about my third state of the union with the most viewers, most uh, subscribers live there. Florida is about fifth, number five. California, of course, is number one with all the people they have there. And uh, I think Texas, too, in New York, because of New York City. And number three, uh, and uh, I think Florida might be four. And Illinois, where I'm from, I'm number five there. And so down the line, where uh, Wyoming, probably the last of the 50, is on the bottom. Anyway, uh, that's why. Uh, but there's a lot of southern states here Georgia, I'm popular in Alabama. Mississippi, Louisiana, and uh, Missouri. Mm. Lots of people in Pennsylvania, um, New Jersey, uh, besides New York City being number one. No, I'm number two. New York, New York and New York City are number two. California is number one. And that's the way it goes. In as far as other countries, Canada, Florida is the second, and uh, Great Britain, or the United Kingdom, they're third, and so on down the line. Anyway, I'm glad you spent this much time with me. I don't have any friends now. Pretty soon I won't have a wife. And the only people I can talk to is you. And you can't talk back to me, except for your comments. Well, I'll be looking forward to your comments. And once again, I think I'm just going to stay here in Jacksonville and centralize my location to all my favorite karaoke places. Of course, the grocery store and Walgreens. Of course, there's plenty of them all over where, wherever you live. You won't have to drive. Uh, I got forgiven long distance to get to those places. But uh, my variety of the southern bars here in the city, and uh, the ones near uh, uh, the river section of Jacksonville, up to the left east or west side of the big river, Jenny Johns River, up around north, there's karaoke bars I like there, and I like two karaoke places over by the ocean. And, uh, I'm only like 20, 25 minutes away from St. Augustine.
Well, it used to be uh, my house to the first bar by the ocean. And that was uh, about a 40 minute drive. It's less time than that to take to get to St. Augustine. And of course, there's a lot of good karaoke bars in St. Augustine because the rich people all over the world go there. That's the way it is. St. Augustine. That's the old city in the United States for adults who don't know the history. Jacksonville is the biggest arid city in the square miles for land in the whole United States. I believe the second one was Oklahoma City. That's a very big area too, if you ever go there. I've never been to New York City. Like my wife said, she wants to go there someday. 